What's going on with you? You're back on the motherfucking channel with the animal. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm practicing my tech fucking talking to the damn um the fuck was that? Damn, um, talking to the microphone, I'm, you're supposed to be engaged when you're talking on YouTube, but I'm not used to talking to the fucking camera. So, getting used to talking to the camera, take one while doing a video about some shit. Let's go. Alright, so. Oh, uh, well yeah, maybe I could do it without the headphones. Let's see this. We're gonna check this shit out. See if it works. Check, yo, alright. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Can we do this without the headphones? Let's see. It's leaving the bond market. It will flow into gold, and hence that's why gold will then go to five, ten thousand, twenty thousand, whatever. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't believe any of that. What's your name? I don't think the money leaves the bond market. Guy? I think, like Japan, I think Does it sound the good? bond market continues to attract pension assets. Um, and a whole bunch of others. So all right. This so nigga's talking about assets and all this shit. Like he knows something. They need to come watch my channel. Look at this shirt. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So uh, this drug kid slaps. Here we go. That's what we're gonna do for this video. How the fuck? Really? I gotta do this shit every fucking time and deal with this shit. That's the bullshit. Now y'all move this camera over here. Alright, we're ready to start this motherfucking video. So. Uh, slaps. I got caramel hair. About to do my first track as a warning. Oh, hold on, let me start over. We gotta do all this shit over again. I guess it's good practice. Hey, welcome to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm practicing talking to a camera. They say you gotta do that. Now I feel like I see how people be like, I be like intimidating this shit. Because as I'm looking at this camera, I can't see myself. But I'm looking at a spaceless entity that damn. Um, has no conversation back. So they say you're supposed to get used to talking to the camera. And ha, ha, ha. I'm not used to doing that. But when I first look at the camera and I realize everybody's watching me. I feel like I project outward aggression when I don't, I'm not trying to do that. You know? But it happens. Hey YouTube, what's going on out there? I'm getting used to talking to y'all so I can provide you with that damn content. So, uh, say something in the comments. Say something to your friends. Tell them to subscribe if you don't do something. It only takes you a second to press this, so click the fucking bell notification. Alright. This shit right here is about slaps. We're gonna start the slap shit off. Okay, so when you first get on slaps and shit, they're gonna be like, alright, this is what's going on on fucking slaps. You know what I'm saying? This chick right here is my Facebook friend, goddamn, whatever, right? She got goddamn 783 fires. You can light this motherfucker up on fire as many times as you want. Motherfuckers don't even give a damn. This is a damn, uh, it's a setup for artists. So other artists could react with each other. There's a, a really bullshit service. It's called uh, Reverb Nation. And art, it's a community of artists. And they're trying to, instead of build their catalog up, like, and say, hey, uh, you know, whatever. 
like for example what you can do on distro kit so on distro kit you got your catalog or whatever right and it's distributed you know and it's not just distributed to one service and you have everybody come to that one place even though I know it sounds nice to a lazy person to have everybody just come to one place but like an artist like me that had a bunch of money in his account and then it just shit disappears because my account was taken down because I violated one of their policies because I actually spoke against them and said hey wait a minute because I was the biggest in the community you can see the screenshots to prove it I'm not going to do all that in this video I'm going to look for this shit and put it in the video but um look it, it's distributed and their prices for distribution suck. I mean, it's ridiculous. But on here, you can go ahead and um, you can distribute your shit to all of the different streaming services. You know, it's simple. Your whole catalog is there. I forgot how I got there. I, I, I ran. I went off subject. Oh yeah. Okay, I remember now. So with the uh, with the slaps. It reminds me of Reverb Nation because it's a gathering place for artists. And why I went off topic is because artists think, oh, well, I'm number two in my city or some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, um, I was global ranked on Reverb Nation fucking for my genre of hip hop. I think 300 and 100 at one point in time. And overall, global, all ranks, all that shit, all genres, or whatever it was, I was. 500 or something. You see what I'm saying? So, and it did nothing. Because I literally had 15,000 fans that I was pumping to that shit, and it went nowhere. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but it's a tool. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to say that to kind of like say that Reverb Nation's not really a good tool. It, it's not a tool, it's a, it's a trap mechanism. Because once you go in there, you're working for them now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't work for you. You work for them. And then they end up, when you say, hey, wait a minute, they take your fucking money. And then um, that's it. But, yeah, small. But, and we're going to see in this video how long it takes to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Alright, so. Motherfucking, um. Uh, this shit right here, you could is basically for critiques on artists. Like I found a lot of artists that uh on Reverb Nation that was talented or whatever and we could work with each other, we could talk with each other, so on and so forth. And we could do shit together. We could collaborate. I could damn say, Hey, I don't like this or you know what I'm saying, like Ubuntu, Linux Ubuntu, you might not know about that, but search that. Um you know, they, they were the first to where you could literally have a software where you're using Ubuntu systems like Audacity and things of that nature, I guess. I'm not sure I never did it. But you can literally set up a track and do it live in a community to where you can have a bass drum player play the drums and then have a motherfucker in uh, Jamaica do some uh, whatever they do. You see what I'm saying? So, is is a way for artists to network and build their sound and it's even better on here and the way I'm going to use it I heard some tutorials which is why I'm even taking the time to do this one I heard some tutorials where it was like uh, you know they don't like it and why would you drive traffic there it's not about driving traffic there you don't have to drive any traffic there you know what I'm saying it's for you to network with other artists now if you're just a I, I just do my own shit in my room, ass motherfucker. Then you're not gonna want to work with any other artists. You probably won't need. You'd be like, hey, well, why, why would I need a show or some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? You probably ain't never gonna perform in front of a goddamn mirror. So you know what I'm saying? Fucking this shit right here, I fuck with it for that reason. And if you're gonna damn use it, you should use it with that in mind. I wouldn't necessarily draw traffic to the motherfucker unless they said hey you know we seen that video where you was fucking telling the truth about Reverb Nation and telling people to use Ubuntu to come together and collaborate and make their music and hey maybe we can integrate that in our platforms you're really smart I don't know if they're that smart but you know what I'm saying fucking I'm doing videos 
practice and talking to motherfuckers through a camera. And uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if I'm doing a good job. But yeah, that's essentially it. If you go to upload a track, you gotta fucking, uh, before you can do that, you gotta get like uh, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. But um, it's like karma. If I went to it right now, you wouldn't see it because I've already accumulated enough to do the shit with. And I don't really understand the system all that well. I'm about to up do my first track, matter of fact. So, post. So, if you go to post and you don't have any CTR, then you're not going to be able to, to put out a track or whatever. Trap. The fuck? I put that up there. We're gonna go with, you know, I'm gonna go with some, uh, what's the R&B, rapping R&B shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't even up there, ain't even no R&B, y'all need to get y'all shit together. Alright, we're gonna go with real hip hop, I like that category. I'm gonna put a song in from the Pimpy album, because it's right there ready for me to grab, so I'm gonna just grab this song. See, boom, picture. There it is. Save image. And then I can even download it right from CD Baby. Uh, well, I don't know why I said CD Baby. I've been calling this shit CD Baby all day. Because I accidentally, believe it or not, went and when you when you first all right when you first go to when you first go to the uh slap page the way i got to it i did my daily thing i go down here i get that widget that i just showed you i might share it somewhere or who knows what and i go to here i go to wheel of plays or some shit uh wheel of playlists um when I go there, it gives you a chance. I can't do it now because I did this shit already. I have another video where I do it. Check it out. Fuck it. It's in a link below or some shit. Goddamn. So basically with this wheel of plays, you um, you get to pick a song from your catalog or a CD, baby. You damn... Um, you... Uh, you select the song and then you get you press the button and it's like the numbers change, you know, and then you got three chances. So you press the button three times, the numbers change, and you get the lowest number and you get the lowest spot on the playlist. So if somebody goes to the playlist and hits play, that number one song is gonna get played, and so on and so on and so forth, unless they got it on random. But uh, yeah, I got like number a uh, ridiculous lily ass. I think it was ten. I got 10 the other day. So, they just basically put my song on their... Here, let's, let's show it to you. They pretty much play my song on their wheel of playlists at a really low spot. If I tried to do it now, I wouldn't go through. But this is what it looks like. Fireworks, this instrumental album, you know? It's an instrumental song on an instrumental album. And then you click it, and then you get to play the shit. See, I, I gotta wait 24 hours. So you can do that every 24 hours. <sighs> well, uh, YouTube, you know, I hope it, I, I'm being a good friend and all this other good shit. So I'm gonna show you some shit that I did as I'm showing you all this other stuff, right? I just did it. It pissed me off. I ended up buying a whole nother distro kit account. Check it out. Uh, did the wheel of playlist thing like I normally do whenever I remember to go into this account. I hit slaps, and when I hit slaps, it's some shit that uh, I never signed up for. So when it went to it, it asked me for an email address. And I gave him my alternate email address just in case it was some bullshit. And what it did was, let me make myself bigger for this one. So, what it did was, when I hit slaps, it made the fucking, it made the site come up 
I'm thinking it's a different site, but it's not really. I'm not sure how the fuck it works. So it say put your email address in. I gave my bullshit email address just in case it was some bullshit. And what it did was it signed me out of DistroKid. And whenever I went back to DistroKid to do my DistroKid shit, it, it would take me to the fucking uh, the page with the ice cream cones, the one scoop or the two scoops, bullshit. And I'm thinking, damn, is it time to pay my fucking annual fee or some shit? But no, it wasn't. It just signed me out of fucking... Distro kid, and I'm I went and paid as a new person for this alternate email that's for my junk emails. So now I got two Distro kid accounts. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. What it is is you got to put the Distro kid address that uh, you actually have on your Distro kid account. So don't make that mistakes. Otherwise, you'll be calling your bank and you'll be cursing it to some lady about, hey, I didn't mean to do this shit. And she'd be like, oh, I understand, and depending on what bank you got. And besides that, buy Bitcoin. Be smart. Get some Monero or something. That's how long I've been smoking a cigarette, people. Check it out. I should, you know what? If they didn't have a show 60 Minutes, I'd do the show 60 Minutes. Sure. That would be a good show. 60 Minutes. I'm going to talk shit to your motherfucking like ass and tell you some, some shit you want to hear. So... I got my files for this damn uh, slap shit. Uh, Pepsi, track title, use uh, the wrong dick. Bam. Audio file. Bam. That uh, should be in downloads, ain't it? Save the file name is some random ass bullshit, so I'm gonna check it first before I just put it up there, you know. Uh, downloads. This must be it. Sorry about that. This is my first video. <laughs> this is not my first video, but this is the first time I've done this shit. And I forgot I had the headphones in, so that whole shit was fucked up. Alright, here we go. What the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, I got the wrong song. Do I really feel like changing all that? And do I really want to promote that song? No, I do not want to promote that song. I much rather promote the song that I signed the shit up with because I made the beat. Why the fuck am I going to goddamn promote a song with a motherfucker where I got to split the royalties? You know what I'm saying? If we had a good agreement that the song had traction, man, this guy don't have an agreement. This is a public work, and I don't trust that shit. I'm just doing this one album for YouTube on there. You know, I let the single go everywhere. That's one of the singles. Um, I probably shouldn't even have that shit on there. Honestly. But, it's up there. So, uh, There's no way to get back. This is a direct link. So, gotta do this shit all over again. Go to Distro Kid. Go to the song I want to promote. And get the right picture and all that other good shit. So, save image. Bam. Cancel that. Oh yeah. Then get the song. Dang the song. What the hell am I doing? Uh, download the song. That should download. Alright, there it is. It's download. <sighs> Tight. 
time. I thought you was one of the bitches that don't need no man. What happened with that other nigga you was talking to? Hit me up on Facebook, I don't even know you. Should I take a second look? Pop it open, inbox. What the fuck is this? Can I send you $40? Why not? Let me entertain it. <laughs> Psych. What the fuck I look like? Um, Alright, I got the song and all that stuff. One, two, go over here. Bam, there it is. Uh, yeah, I got, I'm having a little bit of trouble saying shit because I'm far away from this motherfucker. Alright, description looking to do. I'm gonna just put FT because all that feature shit and put some links in that motherfucker, man. You know, so I'm going to go to my real, uh, my real damn music page or whatever, and I'm going to put the Avision Films link. It's my old page. Need to get the watch time up. Copy. Maybe somebody will go check that out. And it's got links to my topic page. I should have linked this one to my iVision Films page. But it had been 10 years since I, I got a chance to get into it. So I couldn't get into the motherfucker. And then I got into it around the same time I was doing all this shit. And I, and I was like, damn, do I want to get into that? And I was so traumatized by the two-step verification whole bullshit and not being able to get into the shit for 10 to 8 to 7 years or whatever the fuck the shit was that um I didn't even want to put it on there it was like fuck it yeah, I'm gonna just put it on this page and now I gotta get this other page ranked and then we have Carolina Hip Hop which is uh, yet again another platform I put together for artists I'm about to change the name on that shit so it's not just particular you know what I'm saying I feel like shit I'm not from North Carolina. I gave Carolina a lot of love, a lot of energy. And uh, y'all need to go the fuck over here to this Carolina hip hop shit and support your own damn self. So we can all come up. I mean, I can move out this motherfucker and goddamn them what? You know what I'm saying? I got Carolina hip hop as a promotional tool. I'm gonna make it something universal. Whenever you damn come up with something, it's gotta be universal. Like my ghetto cable thing here. When I did that, it was iVision Films, and it was just supposed to be a subsidiary of Ghetto Cable. So I, I created the Ghetto Cable page, and when I did that, it was called Ghetto Cable, you know? Damn, it's going to fucking, it's going to, you know, it's got, a, it's got a stigma to it, whatever. Basically, it's in a box. Ghetto is in a box, Cable is in a box. It's two boxes, so you got to fit in one of those two boxes to even fuck with it. You see what I'm saying? But something like Google, something like Twitter, something like uh, Facebook, something that doesn't have a meaning, some shit that you create and it doesn't have a meaning and you give it meaning, it's not in a box because you just created something. So that would be my advice to all content creators. Create something. Don't just say, hey, I like this box. This is my box. And then here, hey, here's another box. And then I, I put these boxes together. And then I got, I put another box in there. And then boom. And then you, you put all this energy into these three boxes. And, and your whole subscriber base, all that shit, is going to be people in these boxes. Carolina Hip Hop. People might care about Carolina Hip Hop and look in the box and shit. It might be their box. Who knows? But either way, it's in a fucking box. When you create something. You give it validity. You create your own box, and you can put all kind of shit in that box. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do all kind of classy shit from my channel, Ghetto Cable, but it's called Ghetto Cable. You know what I'm saying? It's in a box. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, uh, motherfucking. Tell me what you think of the content. Am I crazy? Do I know what the fuck I'm talking about? You know, am I borderline? What is it? I don't really care, but I'll read it, and I might 
just them uh, fucking entertain the shit as they say nowadays. So I was looking for a link there. Yeah, I'm gonna just hold on. I already got the, I already got that link. Bam. So let me put that shit up there. Bam. And then I'm gonna put this ghetto cable link since this up there. Bam. All right. And I know they say, hey, you can put your links here and all this shit. But I'm gonna put my links in the description any motherfucking way, man. So boom, when you go to Spotify, all of the tools that you need to do this shit is right here. Right on DistroKid. So it doesn't take a lot of energy. It doesn't take a lot of energy. Apple. Get rid of that shit. Don't let it down anymore. I got shit up here that just don't need to be up here doing YouTube videos and shit, you know? Tax information and shit. Alright, so, where's the shit? Oh. So I go back. I'm all over the place. So it even goes in order for you. Whoever did this at uh, DistroKid, damn, good job. It's a powerful tool for the musicians to use so they can make more money up until they make a hit and then you start taking taxes out of this shit. That's a whole nother talk. But I'm gonna promote your shit now and then, um, you know, tell everybody about the good stuff you done. But just so y'all know, if you make a hit and it's through DistroKid, they're gonna take taxes out of your stuff when they say they give you all your money, you get all your money, and they're gonna take taxes and they can hold it for whatever reason and say, hey, you, you're getting a lot of money here. You know what I'm saying? We, well, we wanna goddamn, this guy got videos about it. Just check it out, DistroKid. Uh, stealing money once you get a hit, you know what I'm saying? Fucking weaseling money and saying that goddamn whatever the fuck they said. There's no excuse for that shit. If you say you goddamn, if we got an agreement that you're going goddamn do certain shit, then do the certain shit you said, you know what I'm saying? They just, matter of fact, they just changed their terms of use and all that shit. You know, like, what the fuck is that shit about? You know? And why the fuck would Distro Kid have a SoundCloud? Uh, spot over here where you go on SoundCloud. Like, why the fuck would I want to promote SoundCloud? That's like the stupidest shit ever to me, man. Like, I, I don't, I'm not using DistroKid to promote SoundCloud. That's another one of the stupid ass sites. You know what I'm saying? If my distributor don't put it up there, you're not getting no fucking money and shit. Then why the fuck would I promote that shit? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so, I mean, that's enough links. I, am I really going to promote this art? Is any of you artists going to go to fucking Amazon and buy my shit? You know? If you do, great. You know, comment below. All the people who damn went to Amazon and bought my damn shit, fucking thank you. And I will definitely acknowledge your comment. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a whole damn paragraph and we can talk about some shit or something, you know? Then, um, we're about to see this first track and see how it works. You ready? Let's do it. Looks good. I like it. And see, this is something that I would promote because when I send, if I could sit, it's just got to share, it says, but if I could share this, and that link goes directly to the song, I would definitely, sh I would definitely promote the hell out of this shit, yeah. Cause it's a, it's a fucking non-threatening player. And that's what that's the one of the things I liked about Reverb Nation. It was real just click it and listen to the fucking music. It's not a subscription, it's not this, it's not that, it's not a bunch of bullshit. So yeah, with with me being able to have this much control over it, I would definitely share this. And why the fuck does it have my government name on this motherfucker, yeah? It said put your real name on there or some shit when I signed up for it. And now that's my profile name. 
Come on, uh, motherfucking distro kid. But yeah, go ahead and go to Amazon uh, and check out the uh, albums and all that good stuff. I'm even going to drop a link at the bottom of the video. I have to put out a disclaimer though. It's a fucking, uh, it's uh, whatever kind of link where I get paid for it. And that's why I would definitely want you to use it because it's a referral link. So I will get a certain percentage, I don't know how much, out of the commission of any sales that you make that day on Amazon. So if you're shopping on Amazon today, you might as well use my affiliate link below. Click on it, check out my shit, oh, and if you don't buy it, fuck it. Buy something else and uh, support the channel. And uh, I guess that's about it for this video. I mean, okay, it's uploaded. Real hip hop. Share. It's just a copy link. This is a new website. So, I'm sure it would evolve and turn into other stuff. You got all of the sharing things where I guess I could share, yeah, I share from my pimp fee, Twitter, share it. Now, let's see. Let's see what that share looks like. Might as well, right? You're still watching this shit. What the fuck am I doing it? I'm not real familiar with Twitter and all that. You know what I mean? <sighs> Profile. You saw the wrong dick. Bam. There it is. Brings it right to that page. Yeah, I would definitely promote this. I would definitely promote my music from here. As an initial song offering. You know what I'm saying? You, you offer the song through this platform. You offer the song through this platform. And um, if they like it, they'll go to Spotify. Hey, I listen to Spotify. Hey, I listen to Apple. Hey, I fucking shop on Amazon. Now you got all your fucking stores here and they get to hear the song before they go to Spotify to say, hey, you know what? I do feel like listening to some music or some shit. Light my shit up. Bam. Fuck the bullshit. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, we're going on 33 minutes. If you enjoyed the video, Mm. Yeah, you know what to do. Go ahead and the video, this uh, the playlist right there. Those are from my other channels. At least take a second, click on the playlist. You know what I'm saying? See if you like it. I'm sure you will. Very entertaining shit over there. And um, subscribe to my other channels. I'll be dropping content all the time. Good stuff, alright?